we back on TTV, baby. Wow. Dang, dang, dang. It's the first time here. Death will be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button. Welcome back to RTTV Reacts, where we react to everything. 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 And today, man, we back with a action-packed thriller drama. Man, it'll make it'll send chills down your spine. Today we are watching Sicario. And have any of y'all heard of this movie? No, I've never heard of this movie, no. but I do have to say that the way you said that, I thought you was gonna say something that rhymed with drama. Mm. And I thought you was gonna go on a rap and spiel. Cause what is like, a whole lot of llamas? <laughs> <laughs> he said today we have a new type of drama. Yeah, so um, this one deals with the uh, the Mexican cartel, some um, mm. the gruesome reality that surrounds around that, and you know the drug trafficking, and um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Damn, Damn. that's gonna be crazy. Huh? Oh, it's gonna, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I've never seen it, but it's one of those movies that like. Like, I can tell you what the cover of it looks like without watching it. Like, mm. isn't it? It's all in red letters, right? Sicario on the front? No. Oh, well, I'm wrong then. I've never no, seen I... it at all. You know what's crazy? I don't think I've ever heard of this movie. I'm going to keep it a buck. Three time Oscar, damn. Oh, no. It's, I'm telling you, it was well oh, renowned. It won an Oscar? Yeah, bro, wow. look at the actors. I know you've seen that dude before. One oh, of yeah. those two. I've seen, I I've seen him. He looks like Colin Farrell. The dude, um, the dude. <laughs> The dude with the glasses, I've seen him before. I feel like he's been in a superhero movie before, too. He has. So let's get into it so Jerry can figure out what superhero movie he was in. <laughs> we are watching Sicario. Oh, yeah, it's that time. It's that time. I know you ain't drinking the Magic Mind without getting one for all of us. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, man. What type of friend would I be if I didn't have one for all of y'all, man? Oh, Come on. Hey, let's yeah. go. Pat don't play, you got the good stuff, man. Of course, of course, man. I love Yo, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all asking me for this magic mind, but why do you guys even like magic mind? For me, I just love that it's a two on shot and it doesn't leave a horrible taste in my mouth, bro. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie, y'all know me in the morning, I always got my coffee. So I love that I can drink it alongside my coffee. It doesn't it doesn't mess up the taste, it works perfect together. Okay, alright. I mean, I was searching for a product. That will give me energy mm -hmm. without having the after effects of the energy drink. And Magic Mind is just perfect for that. You know what's the funny thing about that? That's thanks to the L theanine that's in there. It gives you that sustainable energy without giving you that crash that typically you get from energy yeah. drink. Yeah. I was locked in with Magic Mind once I found out it was filled with natural ingredients. Mm. I do not have to worry about non random, natural, unnatural mm. things inside my body. I don't blame you, bro. Honestly, for me, it was a fact that I was dealing with procrastination issues, you know? But the fact that they actually have the implementation of the lion's mane, that is actually gives me that focus and clarity that I need to get through my day. Mm. You know I need that. We got mm -hmm. a lot of work to do. All right, for yeah, real. Man, for sure. Oh, so I think that's what I'm feeling. I think it's the lion's mane. But if you want to get the same benefits as us, make sure you head over to Magic Mind right now. You get 56% yeah. off your first subscription. And if, you guys, and if you guys don't like it, you got a 60-day money-back guarantee. Get out of it. Yes, sir. I doubt they're not going to like it, though. I love me my Magic Mind. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> magic Mind. Try it out today. Yeah. In, In Mexico, Mexico Sicaro means hit me. That means. Oh, <laughs> this sounds oh, fine. Right. Hit Pull up with a stick. You ready? And he's going to cross his face. Oh, wow. Damn. It's a raid. I can't just oh, be in my man. house. <laughs> oh, oh! He almost took her face off. Oh, she drop shot at him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty style, yeah? He's in a lot of movies, man. What do you yeah. think he's seeing in the wall? Cocaine. Drugs. Money. Body parts. Body parts! Oh, imagine. Oh my it's God, bodies, it definitely oh, bodies. The smell. Oh man. What type of raisin cane? Oh. oh. Why they put them in a the wall? Oh my oh, God. Damn. This must have been a ritual or something. What's going on? That's why I said it has to be something else to have that many bodies in the wall. Yeah. Yo, I'm on a roll right now. I'm on a roll. And I never seen this movie. I never heard of this movie. Wow, I didn't think that was gonna be a bomb, bro. You can tell by the music, yo. Oh my wow. gosh. Look at so, 
the blood in her hair. That's crazy. Oh, snap. Nah, yo, that's the day I put in my resignation. <laughs> what happened, bro? I ain't never doing that shit again. Like, nah. Y'all got that. Dude, somebody's kidnapped. They're gonna kidnap. Um, Probably because they kidnap all the time, so it's like... <laughs> well, she knows this guy, too, though. This guy is different, though. You seen the guy I was asking her questions, like... He got open toes, I clapped yeah. all that. <laughs> he could be from Mexico. Even to say the way he was saying their names, like, it sounds kind of Hispanic. He knows everyone's all... advisors is focused on cartels involved in pursuing Mr. D. Amante. I ain't coming back to the bag yet. All right, kiss my ass. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would take that job. It's different, right? Because yeah. it's like the way they explain it is like, yo, we're basically going over there to cause these people to react to us reacting to them doing what they just did to us and stuff to learn them out. Wow. It's the cartel we talk about, you know? It's funny, though, because he did a tour in Iraq. They said that's, that's pretty experienced. Yeah, but then he um he said that he has a, a law degree at UNC, and he said that like, no, lawyers. no lawyers there. Ah, okay, okay. Because they got to break the law. Yeah. yeah they sense. don't want somebody there to be like, oh, wait, you yeah. doing that? Because it's section 3C, section 2. Yeah. You can't do that, bro. Yeah, it's like, it's just us in the air. It's like, I don't know, that's kind of weird. You've been to parties before? Well, they probably fly low, so no. maybe the turbulence on private jets won't be bad. We're going to have passports. Oh, because right, if it's not locked yeah. in, they fly low. Mm -hmm. Wait, where are you saying they're going? Okay. Where you said they're going? Because she was confused because homie said, you ever been to Juarez before? And she's like, I thought he was going to El Paso. Yeah, bro, he's so, lying to this girl, bro. He got his own agenda that so is this, going down. Yeah, so discrepancy is going on right now. We go to Texas, we go to Mexico. Where we going? Bro, the black dude would have been like, I'll sue you, bro. That's Stop playing. Same, that's the same thing, though. They're right next El to Paso. each other. Yeah, yeah. Texas, same thing. You got to drive. You drive yeah, to right each other. They're right next to each other. The only difference is jurisdiction. Yeah, like they can't operate. Um, I think I'll bring the United States there. I've seen some stuff. For now, we'll just keep running on time. You say, yo, I, what kind of, what kind of, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> what did you just say to me? <laughs> I asked you a question, you gave me nothing. Yeah, everything's uh, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ambiguous. Yeah. Discreet. Yo, this girl yeah. is like, what did I just get myself yeah. into? Because we're, we're like her right now. Like, you're yeah. like taking in this presentation, but like, what are they actually talking about? Yeah. They clearly look like they're transporting a prisoner um, to their facility, and they don't want him to get killed on the way. That's what it seemed like, at least. Yeah, they're anticipating getting hit, though. Like yeah. him getting shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're going to receive a lot of action in this transport. So it's somebody who got to be real high in the cartel or somebody that snitched in one of the two. He just likes to talk in riddles. <laughs> that guy. In six months, every single ounce you raise will be rigged with explosives. Do you want to find the guys responsible? Yes or no? Mm. Yes? No. This is where we start. Try it on. But tell me what we're doing, bro. So no. I think it's CIA though too. Yeah, like tell me like I see what he did. Like he just got me to shut up. But bro, at the end of the day, just tell me what it is. No, it doesn't. The thing is, what, the way they even explained it initially with the briefing, they was like, yo, do you volunteer for this? No, this is things that, like, it's going to operate outside of yeah. what you they regularly have, do. And Alejandro already says, like, yo, whatever you hear, you're not going to understand it right now. Mm -hmm. At the end, you will, but, like, right now, even if we tell you what, you, what we're doing, you're probably not going to be on board with it. It's, it's, it's just probably me. so messed up. Yeah, that's why they, they, had to, they, had, they had to make her volunteer. Like, she had to make the verbal agreement, I volunteer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... You're right. We see a lot of things, bro. There's a lot of times that people are on a need-to-know basis. You only get the information when you you're supposed to, to get the information. Yeah, you're not getting any time, bro. Oh, I'm walk right up the path and blow his brains out. Oh, wow. That's, That's crazy. crazy. 4,000 troops. Damn. Think you felt safe? <laughs> Think you felt <laughs> safe? <laughs> To go up in Mexico, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> and Rob asked me why I wouldn't go to Juarez. Yeah, there's no reason for me to go. <laughs> this car better be bulletproof. Better be explosive proof the way blowing things up. Look at oh. it, bro. Oh. Look at it. It's a people oh, hanging. What the f What? Oh, my God. 
bro that headless. Don't have no head. So you say movies that chills down your spine, bro. <laughs> like, I look right at bro. <laughs> it's too late to do a Yui or nah. Yeah, you see. No. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're the ones watching us. I'm like, and riding with machine guns around us. I'm like, hold on. Oh yeah. I'm getting a boner. <laughs> So what y'all think, yo? Something gonna happen right here? Right here, bro. Is it the perfect Something's opportunity? Something's definitely gonna happen here, bro. They're in, a cha they're in a traffic jam. They're at the border. Bro, that's all those cars are probably them, bro. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Nah, it's, yeah, there's mad ops around there. Nah, bro, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Oh. So I'll break there? <laughs> why, why are they ops, Jerry? Uh, listen. Everybody's <laughs> ops. Everybody's ops, bro. Nah, you pick a particular one. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. You picked that guy up. Yeah, what he said. No, but look, 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 look at the guy. Look like Jerry, Jerry. Thing, what they say? He said Red and Paula too late. That's the same car that Jerry was talking about. <laughs> Red and Paula. You must be engaged to be engaged. Oh my God. So this is. This is the plan. This is what they're about to do. They're about to do something crazy and illegal. So that's why they got all these crazy people on this mission because they're killers. They're sicarios. <laughs> she shook right now. Kate's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How do we know it's them? He's nasty. This is what they wanted, bro. This is what they want. Oh! Oh. Nah, yo, for her, bro, it's yeah. like this is the second time I had to duck my head and they barely missed. Well, I don't get it, this, this is the, the federal, they basically got who was working on the inside, right? Is that what happened? That was the, that was the Mexican um, federal police. police. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So they said not, they're not always the good guys, exactly. so we're trying to find out who who's working for them and who's working for us type stuff. Yeah, because I don't get that either. Yeah, but how? Like, if that, I'm that, a police officer thing. and a dude got a uh, machine gun in the car and he start to pull it up, I'm going to clap too. Yeah, so but I'm saying if they, this guy right that, yeah, if they didn't see that, the dude just pulled out the car with a gun, with a strap. So they just reacted. So how is that illegal if they didn't see that gun? Well, they moved him on purpose to, to, to incite that reaction. That's facts. Yeah. Something happened in that room. <laughs> you see he keeps emphasizing that something happened to this dude yeah and he said he's a ghost what, the? They... what the hell he's got some uh, water bottle you keep looking at me for him the one was in glass remember <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, even wait, I, I wait, don't. I, to this day, I don't what? know how he did in that room, bro. <laughs> nah, it sounded like he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why he's like, why are you holding on my transport? Yeah. Attention. Tell me. The exact reason why they want him here. <laughs> Guillermo told us about a tunnel east of Nogales near Susaba. You understand the value of that? Maybe he's a good guy. I don't actually I can't even say that he, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> How I feel about what he just said, though, about like basically the whole op. I feel him in terms of the vaccine thing he said. Mm -hmm. Like stopping him would be. I feel him. I just think there'll always be somebody to replace. You gotta take down the whole cartel. I feel like. And aren't there more? Like, there's more than one cartel. Like, so if I wipe out this one, this one's just gonna take up more, like, more area, no? Yeah. And like. 
this is not even your country. So how you going, you going to leave people there at all times to stop it? And we see what they doing over there, bro. They doing fireworks, explosions, like, bro, you going to keep you, I don't know. God. She's looking at like, damn, yo, that dude really is the disease of Mexico. So I mean, if we even find that vaccine, he's talking about. Yeah. He's like, I'm on bot. I want to convince myself a little more on what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, made her open up a whole new pack. Bro, she forgot she said a house full of dead people. Daddy's working. What is that? Like, what is his real thing? He's really with the cartel. Gotta get you a new bra, woman. Trust me, you need that deposit machine behind when you run out of money. Do you know the high? Are we coming? Well, don't go in the bank. This is something we can actually build a case on. Don't go in the bank, Kate. Here you go. She's going in the bank. Why would she do that? Yeah, I don't. I, she's bugging. You just put your face on all the cameras. Yeah, she's this bugging. Crazy. She's bugging. Yeah, I'm like, yo, this girl's <laughs> yeah, like, crazy, bro. So now, guess guess who's messing with the, my money? This chick. Mm -hmm. Like, they, this this lady's crazy. Do See how the guy in the bank was looking at her too? Yeah. He's like, yeah, you yeah. a dumb broad, yo. Like, you see what you just did, you idiot. All right. Because he's trying to teach her, like, yo, there's one way of going about it, but, like, we already tried that many times, and it comes to no avails. Like, this is the way we're trying to get it done right now. We need him to go back into Mexico. She's too small time thinking. And don't get me wrong. I do think he probably did some real illegal stuff, like mm -hmm. illegal relationships and all that, but I think that's just his only way he knows of getting it done. That watch is looser than a bit. <laughs> Look at the rubber band. The rubber band was the same color rubber band on the day, dollars. Mm -hmm. for five years. So if your fear is operating out of bounds, I am telling you, you are not. <laughs> 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 yeah, the bond has been moved for you. Like, you have that jurisdiction to do these kind of things. You don't have to work under these jurisdictions that you used to work under. Yeah, because them two, they be thinking like, yo, we're doing everything illegal, blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, there's people that's way higher than you that's actually calling the shots is hiring people like Matt to get job done like this. And these people are elected, you know what I'm saying? We chose her. We chose you to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, and She's not low anymore. She's being watched. Is you that? You see it, boy? Is that the Punisher? <laughs> That's yeah. Shane from Walking Dead. Watch, you see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey. Wow. <laughs> He's the one that's going to make a move on her? What you mean? Like from... She needs a man. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, fat. <laughs> Can I get y'all another round? Mm -hmm. What you thinking, well? Oh, you got something in your mind right now, B. Boy, bro, that's the way in. That's the way in. Did she already show her face? So this is the... Cartel finding out how they can get into this girl's mind or whatever. Don't mind my bra. Don't mind my eyebrows. <laughs> it look like caterpillars. caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't ate potatoes in a month. Oh! Oh, the rubber band! The rubber band. Yeah, okay. uh, the, rubber <laughs> the one that the same rubber band from the from the uh, bus. So she gotta be smarter uh, than that. She gotta be smarter than that. She gonna yeah, see it. Gonna figure it out. Wow. He's a op. He I'm like, he knew he was fishy. He knows I'm an idiot. Look at him. I'm an idiot. But I think if he wasn't, if he wasn't an op, he'd be like, yo, talk to me. He's trying. He tried to tell us that mad times. Now he's trying oh. to kill her. Oh. That's a real Punisher face right there. Yeah. That's a way. <laughs> oh, no way. Nah, I will lie. That would be wild in this movie. Did Shorty die? Wait. That's a dude. Yeah. See, he was he was tailing her. Boop. Back the hell up. Yep. Yeah. Thank God, yo. <laughs> Is 
No one's going to notice a few more scratches. <laughs> this is a new deal, Ted. I'm the one who decides whether your daughter gets federal protection. You want to ask Nah, that's a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> you put the whiskey in it? That's what you gonna tell your kids? Damn, I know. <laughs> that was right. He's not gonna say. say he's not gonna say put the whiskey in it. He's like, he's gonna right be like, now. yo, you put the deuce in it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it one time in my life, and it was in college. And honestly, with y'all? No. Where are we going? Because CIA can't operate within U.S. borders without a domestic agency attached. Right? That's why they brought it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. For nothing, just stand near me. Yo, bro, don't let this girl get you killed, homie. Yeah, you don't have to. Like, it's yo. because Reg don't have to be there. Yeah, Reg didn't even ask Reg. Didn't she even brought Reg in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he doesn't have gonna, to be there. But that's his partner, though. He ain't gonna let his partner go alone. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Shit. <laughs> I don't know about me, bro. <laughs> you t you set me up, yo, Pat. I need you for this case. Nah, I don't know, bro. Nah, I just feel like I'm gonna be all right. Look at all these drugs. I though. wouldn't want to do it from Jump Street, but like. I got kids. I'm good, show. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You don't got kids. Who drugs to support my family? So he answered your question earlier, Wills. But it ain't like he got a big crib, Jerry. It ain't like you know what I'm saying. It ain't like he living in crazy lavish. Hey, he's a state cop. They said it from the beginning. I just said to support. No, I mean, he could yeah, die, yeah, though, because yeah. even in the briefing, they said, yo, if you see anybody with a uniform on, you already know what to do. This reminds me of Splinter Cell. Yeah. Nah, they're going to keep these lens on the whole time. That's kind of cool. You didn't fly in the AC-130? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to drop bombs on <laughs> Nah, this this scene is fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely giving Splinter so. Ooh. It looks like. Oh. Yeah, like, what, what you think this was? This girl's crazy. <laughs> like, sit down. I do don't play, don't play with you like Yeah, she's that. tripping, yo. I was like, yo, what's good with this shawty, bro? You don't even know what's going on like that to be pointing a gun at me. And you know what's crazy? The guy recognized, the cop recognized him yes. as the old Meta Mm-hmm. All right, you So that's what I do. <laughs> Try Relax. It. Try it. Try it right now. Is the camera on right now? Beat your ass, boy. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't try to be tough on camera. I'll smack one, the shit out of you. One shot. I just yeah, need one, one shot. Thug. That's why I thug. One shot, one kill. One group controlled every aspect of the drug trade. Cartel. Providing a measure of order that we could control. Exactly. Oh, up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Nasty with it, though. That's crazy. They cut off his wife's head. Wow. And threw his daughter into a bed of ass. Damn. That's the mission all the was on. Yeah, That's crazy. I feel him, bro. He got to be bloodthirsty. Bro, I ought to turn around like, bro, what am I doing out here? Man? Wow. <laughs> We want Sylvia from the beginning of this movie just to get that connection like that, bro. He got a kid. He got a kid. Yeah, it's a good rated Silva. Crooked cop. Yeah, he was a crooked cop. I live there, yeah, yo. I respect that, Wells. Damn, good rated though, bro. He's a crooked cop, bro. It comes with the game, bro. 
don't they pick your cops? It's a, it's, a it's, a different, it's a different country, though, man. It's different. Nah, that's, I hate cops from Florida. I hate them even more, it's bro. Survi- they rob, it's survival, though. They be robbing, and they're good people, bro. They take advantage of good people, not him. I'm so much. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what the? Oh, wow. wow. Come on, City. He, he was already out. outside yeah. the car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I killed that. I killed a cop, yeah. <laughs> so this man is the, the Sicario. He's the hitman. While he's there with the kids, too. What do y'all think is going to happen? Oh, my God. Don't tell me he's going to kill the family in front of him. Oh, my God. Bon Appetit, though. Oh, he pulled up like a gangster. Threw his daughter acid, bro. He walked out. Like he walked out, bro. Acid is crazy. Nah, he walked out. Your wife. You think she'd be proud of what you become? Bro, I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> it don't matter. You cut her head off. You cut her head off. She ain't even she might be able to think about anything, girl. Yeah. What are you talking to me about? Mmm. <laughs> the wife's like, shit. I understand English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not the daughter. <laughs> Damn. Mm. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> you made it personal, even if it wasn't. Dude, why is that second, you know? Boy! Boy! What? <laughs> I don't That's give so a damn! <laughs> you think you have? You think you have options, right? <laughs> oh! oh. I probably don't even want to kill you. I want you to the time. Now you can say it too, it's impersonal. Wow. Wow. Nah, this movie was good. the best one I ever seen. Sicario. <laughs> this movie was amazing. <laughs> ever try to make us watch an allergy. Yeah, definitely try to make you watch allergy. Nah, I didn't know he was gonna kill those kids. He said, yeah. Hey. He said, uh-uh, we all, we, I lost my family, we all lose our family, bro. He said, not in front of my boys, I'm going to kill your boys in front of you. <laughs> Everything you do was done by the book. You better sign that thing, <laughs> this girl's crazy, bro. And they knew how they had to approach her with a gun on her face. It's like, you better sign this. Yeah, she was only tripping too because, like, her boss literally told her what it is, and she still got re engaged with it. <laughs> and her partner was like, Let's get out of this. <laughs> Let's walk away. We don't have to do this. Yeah, but had they walked away the first time, she would have never been in this position. Nah, because they wouldn't have been in this position. Cause she wouldn't know. Bro, kill her, bro. If you don't want to sign to kill her, bro, keep it moving, bro. I right, bet she 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 wants to die for this, die for it. To stay on your, I feel you, shorty. You want to stay on and die, then. I'll give it a gun. You shoot yourself. Either side or shoot yourself. That's how real you want to be real. You shoot yourself. You know what? Stay alive. They're gonna kill you. Yeah, he's like, you yeah. The I don't... People. You know what? I try to help you. You know what? You was my daughter. Like, we just killed the jefe, so uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to stay in Arizona because <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of retribution, you know? There's a part two to this movie. Although well, they wander, like, oh, wait, what? wait a second. Is she going to shoot him? It's the second time you pull a gun on man, if you if you live him by the book, you're not going to shoot him. It's the heat of the moment for you. Yeah, he's gonna kill her on the balcony. Broski got what he wanted anyway. Nah, he probably, Robbie, you might be right. Somebody kill her on the balcony. He said, yo, I told you not to stand on balconies. Bow! You're going crazy. I feel you died, bro.
right well, back at it. Then, bro. That, I, that ending gave me chills, bro. I was like, yo. They're so used to it. That, like, yeah, go right back to it, bro. Bro, streets in the back of the two and gunshot, Wars. Sicario, guys. No, I didn't know she signed it. That's why it confused me. So how did y'all feel about the Oscar award winning Sicario? That movie was amazing. <laughs> it's definitely my top ten. That movie was amazing. I I'm a need nominee. I don't think it'll win that. Mm. They should have won that. It was respectful. It, it definitely deserved the nomination because it wasn't one of those stories where you thought where the main character came out on top. The main character, first of all, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for Kate just because her partner told her, let's get out of here. You know what I'm saying? She would have never been in a situation to where she saw the guy go with the cop and go in the car to kill the cartel had she just left it to begin with. Why she kept doing the op, I don't even know. Cause they said mad times. Hey, you can leave if you want. Hey, you can leave. At this point, you can leave if you want. At this point, you can leave if you want. I don't even know what she was getting at. Nah, at this to point. be honest, they, they, they needed her. They needed her. They wasn't gonna let her leave. They couldn't do this operation yeah, without her there. Like exactly. literally couldn't do it. So I don't think that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Did they keep on giving her the option? Yes. Do I think that if she was smart, I would have left. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yes. It's on her. It's on her because they but, gave her the option to leave. But that's gotta, why it's on her. But, of course, they needed her. But you gotta understand that, like, I think that this girl, to her, she was doing her op. Like, she loves. She likes her job. She loves her job. Like at the beginning, her people got murked. I want the people who murk my people to get bagged. Yo, they're doing all this illegal stuff. But I at least want to understand what they're doing because she still had no idea. Like we said, yo, we're in the same conversation. We don't know what's going on. She wanted to see it through. Now, I'm sure at this point in her life, she's like, damn, yo, I wish I did. But I think that her her wanting to understand what was going on, what got my people killed from Jump Street, led her to, to do all this. I feel that, but there was also a whole bunch of red flags within the situation. She to do say, that from the first, to the say, first mission. To say, though. hey, maybe, even, even when it gets to your partner, because after the first mission, it's like, all right, I'm just getting to think of this. I don't fully understand everything, you know? But then there's more things to where it's like, all right, what we're doing to, is corrupt. To a point where she even brought it up to a higher up. Right, it gets to a point in time where it's like things can only get worse from here. Maybe I should remove she's myself. Such, she's such a she's such a do gooder that she felt like yo, if I could catch them doing something wrong in the act, that's why she went to the wrong tunnel. Mm -hmm. That's why she saw um homie from uh, Meta Ying do mm -hmm. the wrong thing because she was looking for that moment to what say, look it, I did, I saved this operation from doing bad things. She she loved that. She wanted that moment for herself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel that, but like if you're working within the government in situations like this, you're one person. The majority of this, the majority of the, of their of their establishment is corrupt already, especially when you spoke to your higher up. At that point, like, what are you really gonna do? I just feel like people like, that, that join the government with that intention, that's why they join it. They think they can make a change. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, so that's why she continued doing what she was doing. She and, thought she could be the one to make a change. 100%. And, and we've seen a hundred times in movies where that works out. Yeah. Where the person does that and they, they follow it through and they could go through the government and they make it and they smoke the person at the... We've seen it happen. It's just in this one, it ain't work out for shorty. Yeah. Like, and, it, and not only did it not work out, but now she got to look over her shoulder. She's going crazy. Mm -hmm. She gained nothing in this. But like, think about it from the beginning though. All right, yo, we, us five go on a mission. Two of us get smoked out of our boots. I want to know what happened to my boy. Why they killed my boy. No, and, she said she wanted to get back to people that did disturb. So exactly. She, she, it worked. What she wanted. She did. She, just, she, she got what she wanted. She got, more for it. she got what she wanted. Because they literally said, if you want Go on this mission to uh, take out the people that just did that. She said back. Oh, no, and her dude told her, "Yo, I don't know." And she was like, "Well, I'll go though if it's I can. If I could take out the people that did that." And yeah. he said, "Yeah, she did." So mm -hmm. everything else that came with it, I think that's why they were trying to warn her. And she should have known when you walked into that house in the beginning with all those um, bodies. She should have known what time it was on. Like, yeah. That wasn't a normal case it was, exactly. going, it was gonna be dark that's what i mean like it was going dark completely so i think she wasn't prepared and i'm just confused because she was an officer so i feel like she should have been prepared nah bro she's a kidnap officer that's no, why it was crazy it's like no, but why saying, am i even here bro that, i have saying, nothing to do with this I'm like saying she's a, i'm saying she's like an officer meaning like you should know if you're going to something else you yeah yeah it's like bro it's, it's like sending like a regular, finance lawyer into a criminal case yeah, Why am I here? Like, I, I'm a, a lawyer, but I'm no do this. Finance lawyer, you should know that, though. That's yeah, that's what I, she should have known that. Yeah, that's but I think she was so wrapped up in it. That, that, that's the point of me even saying 
why I don't feel bad for her. Considering considering all the circumstances that were happening, I don't feel bad for her at all. If she her people like, known what she was getting herself into. She was warned enough, too. Yeah, she was warned enough, which is why it's like... She had to literally volunteer for this. And, like, her issue is... Consider the fact, like City said, like, what you stumbled upon the first thing, bodies in the wall. She thought in her mind that it was going to end with her arresting Man Manuel and arresting the main jefe and stuff like that. She should have known that, like, that's not the time that they was on. This whole mission is like, we're going to kill these motherfuckers, like, these, yeah. these dudes right here, bro. And even with watching things like Narcos and things that involve cartels like it's not it's never it's never as in simple real in real life like it's not that simple them. it's not that simple unfortunately it sucks i wish it could be that simple but it's just not but let's also <laughs> remember that i i understand that she did get herself in a crazy case in the beginning yeah i think that that's not when i would have got out i think i get out when bro she thought she was going to texas they brought me to mexico <laughs> and some others like because the thing is i think that's that she was, i think that she was down to like Ruffles go find these people yeah like i think she was down for that and she kind of was under the impression that like we are the law we're gonna go enforce the law in texas and then when she's on this plane and they go somewhere and now there's this random phantom dude who just walks in and, and, and yo who are you don't worry about it there's nothing there's nothing now at that point that's when i think she started asking questions and now her curiosity was what drove her but i think that like i i don't know i don't know at what far at what part are you too deep into because we see right now She's too deep in to come out. I'm gonna put a gun to your head. Mm -hmm. At what point, if I said no, if I said I was leaving, what's to tell me they wasn't gonna put a gun to my head? Cause in my head, that's what I thought the whole time. Every time it was like, you can leave if you want. I thought it was like, she's gonna turn around. Come on, man, but you I know feel, too much. Nah, but I nah, feel like there wasn't enough that they did to make it seem like for them to actually get in trouble on paper. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think she had seen enough. She saw where it was going, but there wasn't enough that she actually seemed to be like, yeah. all right, this is exactly illegal what you're doing. The tunnel was the, 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 that was moment. the moment. Yeah, the yeah. tunnel was the moment. Because remember, she tried going to the high rubs. Yeah, she already did. Yeah. I think she would have got. The high rub was basically like, you're going to get yourself smoked. No, he was basically saying, like, yo, you're complaining to people. That like, authorize us. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, we're lower than them. Mm -hmm. They got jurisdiction here. Yeah, they got. You do what they say. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, and you're hiring me technically right now. So, mm -hmm. like, why are you telling me? How do y'all feel about, like, basically the government using things like this to deal with like international affairs that's my favorite part of the movie like when the uh cia agent was like yo if you're trying to get drugs down 20 percent like it's gonna be around this is what mm -hmm. we gotta do to kind of try to control the situation as best we can but this is gonna be a thing that's always around mm -hmm. you know and it also made me think when he had the conversation with the uh mexican boss at the end it's like yo who do you think taught us that it's almost like yo when we took you down, we were working with a government agent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or a government agency. So it's like, yo, they they just going back and forth. And maybe that's how the world power kind of keeps them from getting any bigger. You know what I'm saying? We just let them have a power for a little bit. And this is how our way in um, for a few years. And that way we main, we we keep it from getting from like 20 to 100%. We keep it like at 20% each time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. all, all, if, you, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're yeah. saying. It's like, yo, I, we can control like the threshold. Like it's always yeah. gonna be there, but if we keep it to like, keep it to a moderation, yeah. where it's not like a super influx to a point that's damaging our country <laughs> to like oblivion, then it's like, we're doing something. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just something that's gonna happen, unfortunately. It's terrible. It's terrible and as much as you don't want it to happen, because of how complicated the law enforcement is, especially with cartel, unfortunately they had to do what they had to do in the situation. Yeah. It sucks, but, it's and like, it goes full circle. It's like an ugly truth. It's like one of those things that you don't want to know, and then you don't have to know. If you don't want to stay the hell away from me. But it's like an ugly truth, because I can get what you're like, I, I get what he's saying. He's like, yo, you want this shit to stop? Go stop the 20% from doing drugs and snoring shit. I can't stop that. You want to go stop it? Go stop it. Go. Go smoke it a bit. Tell them drugs is not good. Go stop them. They ain't stopping, bro. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, if I could put a clamp on it in some type of way, and I think it's 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 more so like I I agree with you like where like you have to like like when he's like yo who you think put me here, but I think it's like alright once you get out of control once I can't control you no more, I gotta get the next guy. But they always keep it where there there is a power struggle. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the only way we can limit how big both. Um, empires get mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I feel like we've seen the world do that with countries too yeah. you know what I'm saying as long as we dictate who's on top we put them there so we get to decide mm -hmm. 
how far they get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's how it, it kind of went down with the Mexican cartel. Once, like you said, once we couldn't control them anymore, guess what? There's always going to be somebody on the other side that wants to cooperate and taking them down. And mm-hmm. then now we put this Colombian cartel at the top of the drug game after we take them out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we already have, we're already in cahoots with them. So. And then you got people, they do that shit, they do that stuff as far as like, even putting in your world leader, like you're, I'm gonna change your president. I don't like him, yo. yeah, like, you know. What I'm what yeah, all the let's, time, let's bro. figure this out. Let me get somebody who like I could make a call and they do what I need them to do. It's, it's an ugly truth, but yeah, and the yeah. ugly truth, like that's why I like this this movie because the ending was that. You feel me? This wasn't a beautiful nah, bro. It's like yo, these people are basically stuck with yeah, the. Kind of what with the violence that happened at the end? The little kids playing soccer, and then they still have to deal with. The repercussions of the drug cartel fighting. It's beautiful, view. It's a beautiful bliss. Because it's real, you're saying? It just sucks for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just sucks. <laughs> they don't even know it, it sucks. It, 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 it's kind of scary. That, I think they that, know it sucks. They know it sucks, they bro. My boy just lost his father, bro. His father came back to soccer games. The way, the way we <laughs> think it sucks, and that's what I'm saying, is it doesn't suck to them like that. It's like life. Yeah, it's not the, the Oh, no, I get what you're saying, because we have the luxury of how we, you yeah, know, like, brought up the They never see, experienced that luxury. Saying, that saying. definitely reminds me of Haiti. Like, Haiti's definitely like that with the violence and stuff. And that's why I'm like, certain people, it's like, they just born where it's like, oh, bro, this is life. I know it ain't good, but it's like, it's life. Like, that's, you, what like, you know. they, that's why they just want to keep playing. Cause yeah, like, I get you. You know what I'm saying? They're not, like, they grew up like that so it's kind of like second nature it's like this is just how life is it yeah. just how life for us right? if there was gunfire around bro, the soccer game the whole they shut the game, game down, down they ain't playing soccer there for a month people are really? in a panic those they just everybody just stopped and looked and then they continued the game like that's normal they said that's somebody, scary though they that's, said somebody showed a gun at a pop warning game they shut that game down that dude's banned from every pop warning <laughs> game from here to kalamazoo bro <laughs> kalamazoo i don't even know what that is it might be in alabama <laughs> But yo, Sicario, dope, dope ass movie, man. Definitely one of my favorites. Harsh realities, but at the end of the day, it's always good to put the realities on the big screen so we know what we're dealing with in this harsh world. So guys, man, if you guys want to check out more of our yo fire reactions to amazing classic movies, head over to our Patreon. We got all that and more, man. It's your first time here. Death won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button, man. It's your boy, Patrick R.T. It's a maniac, Ocas on the Square T. Sicario sounds like the name of a restaurant in Beverly Hills. Obvious. What's good, is your boy DC? It's your boy, Officer RT. It's your boy, Wells. And that settles it at the, the Round Table. table.